Hi, this is Chris Lavin from Extreme Polishing Systems, and we are here from lovely South Florida, Pompano Beach, to be exact. And we're in uh, the man cave on the other side of my office. This is, a, this is the room where really nobody knows even exists. This is where I hang out. We play ping pong and have some fun. Uh, we have two very special guests with us today. We have Mr. Jeffrey Sanish from uh, my hometown, to the homeland, Milwaukee, Wisconsin, which a lot of you guys may have seen Jeff before on some of our previous videos. And we have Mr. Uh, Jeffrey Jones, the boss of gloss. Mr. B.O.G. Boss of gloss. Uh, and Jeffrey's, Jeffrey's from the from the, the, the Rock City, yeah. from, from Detroit. So, Midwesterners. Um, Jeff is in as we are going to be doing a floor this evening with Jeff's product, Civics. Um, and people run into this and they ask all these questions all the time on all the forms. And, Jeff, I have you here today because you run a forum that a lot of people watch. But let's, let's take your forum. The Sons of Slurry. The Sons of Slurry. No, so tell me a little bit about Sons of Slurry. And the Sons of Slurry is a pretty much a group where guys can come in, ask questions, talk shop. I mean, pretty much anything goes. So it's not for the faint of heart, but okay. it's got its place in that. It's got its place on Facebook. Sure. So you have a subscription base, yeah. right? Okay, so 3,000 members strong, that's awesome. Yeah, yeah. And a lot of them are already in the business. Yeah, yeah. They're doing polished concrete. Yeah, epoxy, doing epoxy. Yeah, stamping, overlays, everything. Yeah. Anybody that's getting in the mess with some wet concrete, right? Yeah, anybody who's making mud. There you go, that's, a, that's the slurry <laughs> part of it. <laughs> that's true. Um, I, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna welcome you, by the way, because you've never been on any of our, our YouTube videos here. Um, so we're, we're making this one because you're going to be participating here in a little bit. We're going to be applying Jeff Simic's product. We're, we're going to talk to Mr. Jeff Stanis here for a moment because we did a video probably a year and a half to two years ago. Two and a half years ago. Two and a half years ago. I know time's going by pretty fast. Um, but, but we've been selling Jeff's product, the Simic's uh, label product now, for the past two and a half years. We've been pretty much offering it mainly just to the polished concrete contractors and to people that have done the vinyl composite tiles. And you know, when you sell as much product as we do, sometimes some things sit on the, on the, on the shelf longer than they should, okay? And when Jeff came by today, I said, you know what, Jeff? I said, I've been selling so much epoxy that people love our epoxy coatings they're concerned about the scratches on a metallic floor. So why don't you talk to me about your product and how it would be the solution for their scratches. There's no, the epo epoxies are beautiful. Yes. They're just absolutely a beautiful floor. You can't do anything more beautiful than epoxy. And some of the things that you show, like at the other room over there, it's just, it's spectacular, okay? The downside of epoxy is what? It's easily scratched. Yes. Okay, so what you really, what we're bringing to the market is nothing has changed. You know, like right now, I'm, I'm on my way over to the other side of the state because we're now using it as an damage, okay? To stop salt from intruding into the concrete. And it works on the No salt can get in. Right, right which is important. Huge. Any, anywhere where there's like salt water. How about, how about in the middle of wintertime on bridge decks? Thank you. Right? How about not only that, how about in grocery stores where they walk in or at Home Depot and they walk in and, and they have a guard coat, a guard coat, a guard coat on Olive's Camp Right. Failure. Acrylic forfeit. Failure. Wow. Total failure. What so, happened? Sodium, for, it sodium chloride eats it up. Wonderful. The breaks, breaks down the concrete. Yeah, it doesn't bother us at all. Zero. What's that? No problem. With your product. Absolutely. Yeah. So anybody that's out there in Pennsylvania, Wisconsin, thank you. Anywhere where it snows a lot, okay? Minnesota. And, yeah, Minnesota. Hey, hey. There's a lot of problems that people have because the actual sodium chloride that's coming in off the streets, yeah. that's trying to keep your road safe, you're now walking through your garages, you're walking right. through the main mm -hmm. Walgreens, right. any polished concrete floors, and what the sodium chloride does is it actually gets in and eats away the lime. It eats it because the molecule is, it, when it goes into a liquid state, it's easy to trans, transmit right through it. You know, it eats through the wax and then down into the concrete it goes. Right. Okay. And you see so we prevent, we, we give you a permanent uh, barrier. Now remember, we don't stop vapor from coming through, but 
the salt ion, when it gets down into the liquid state, it's still too large, it can't pass through that opening. So we're gonna stop it from going down, all right? Can't stop vapor from going down, but you don't want to. You want, always you want concrete to breathe, always. Never do you ever want to put a permanent seal on it, all right? So when you get to your epoxies, we've got the epoxy terrazzo over at the Port Charlotte Airport. They couldn't keep anything on that floor. The wax just wouldn't stand up. And so they put us down a little over a year ago, and they put down, you know, a total of 12 coats. It's beautiful. It is just simply beautiful. They only clean it twice a week. They got it now. They're averaging about 6,000 people a day going through there. It maintains a beautiful shine. It's just easy to maintain. You eliminate the scratching issue. If you didn't have us on there, you would have that floor totally getting scratched up. You'd have all these fine line scratches. Let's talk about the hardness of your product again. A lot of people always say, well, you know, like how, how hard is your densifier or how, how hard is your sealer to make my concrete? Okay, so <clears throat> here's, how they, here's how they actually work. The harder the surface, the harder we are. Okay, so on VCT tile, guys have done scratch that said, Jeff, your product's only like four or four and a half. And I go, well, what's an acrylic floor finish? Well, you can't count that. I said, why? Well, you can't measure it. It's too soft. Okay, so, but, but if you take the product and you stick it on concrete, all right? Stick it on concrete. Eight, eight and a half, nine, okay. Right, that's on most tests. Yeah. No, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's, it's, a, it's a number. So you're harder than hardened steel, but you're softer than a diamond. You're up there just about quartz. Right. And that, that's super hard. And we're super thin. You're only putting down, when you put down one coat of our product, it's measured in nanometers. You're only at about 350 nanometers. Okay? So think about that, how thin that is. Okay? Let's talk about how thin a nanometer is. Oh my gosh, a billionth of a meter. How can we equate that? So if we, let's take it, let's do it this way. A, a one coat of acrylic floor finish is approximately 6.4 microns. How about 6,400 nanometers? And so one coat of our product is only about 350 nanometers. So it's about a ratio of 19 to one. We're one nineteenth the thickness of a single coat of wax. But if we go four for four, four coats of wax, which is the standard that they put down, and four coats of us, first of all, you're gonna be less per square foot, okay, less. We will never yellow, chip, peel, or crack, okay? You never strip it, never strip again, never strip again. Eliminate daily burnishing. Why? So hard. If you're hard, why are you burnishing? Yeah, yeah. You're burnishing why? Well, you're, you're, you're burnishing to create the street crime shine. Okay. okay? We don't have that. Right, right. But just give you a nice, clean floor, crystal right. clear. So, we, so you intensify your epoxy, give you depth of clarity. Right. Depth of clarity. It's right. really a beautiful So it's not going to take away from the gloss. Like it does. Exactly. exactly the opposite. Exactly. It's going to give you character. That what you see in down there is going to be richer and fuller. You're going to have a much more you know beautiful finish on it. Okay. okay. And, and so now let's throw some water on there, right? Okay. And so what happens? Creates a slight vacuum effect. Your slip and fall coefficiency of drag is up and not down. You can't walk on the It's wet now. <laughs> you better not walk out, walk out with damn feet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay? Well, th this, is, this is your answer. Right? Right. Okay, so you're addressing three issues. You never strip again, you eliminate the need for daily burnishing, and you have a coefficient of drag much higher than where you started from. Right? Which is super important for any building owner or any business owner. Okay, so it's less the chance of getting sued. Thank you. Epoxies are cheap, guys. Come on. Yeah. Right. You're, it's a beautiful floor. Yep. You want to mm -hmm. preserve it. You want to preserve it, exactly. So, so but you're not going to get fading because it's, we, we create a sunscreen effect, okay? And so it contains nanoparticles of titanium dioxide. And what that, in essence, is done, well, you go buy a sunscreen. What are you buying? You're buying titanium dioxide in a lotion. And so you can smear it on, you can't really see it, but it's there. And so what is it doing? It's sitting there bouncing the light waves. Oh, okay? Well, that's what you got inside there. Titanium dioxide. T I O two. Yeah. By the way, did you know I'm titanium dioxide getting off of the actual floor finish and sealers and all that stuff? Yeah. It's in Kentucky Fried Chicken mashed potatoes. <laughs> there you know that. that. There's <laughs> that. You know that. Yeah. yeah. It's a half percent. It's super high. Yeah. And the, the the level of, of titanium dioxide in the coating 
is 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 somewhere like point zero 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 two. It's like over there, not point five. But but the, the big thing I like about it is that it's for epoxy. Epoxy is always amber. They always yellow because they're not they're not UV friendly. No, they're not. And there's nothing you can do to do it. The worst thing you can do in epoxy is to add too much UV stabilizer. You get to a certain level and it goes just the opposite. Yeah. It's softer then right. and really scratches faster. Right. So you gotta watch putting that in. So that's what's nice about what we bring. Now, you can't put it on the day you lay the epoxy because you got too much surface activity. Got it. Okay? Yeah. So what you gotta do is give it like about 30 days and then what is it? Just get it clean and then it's just and, um, okay, so one gallon yeah. makes three gallons. It's going to cover 18,000 square feet. One gallon makes three gallons, covers 18,000 square feet. How much is a gallon? It's $189. That's what we saw before. 189 divided by three is, listen, it's a good deal. It's a good deal. I, I, know, I, know, I know you suggested it be sold for $250. I believe in giving value added to customers out there. I know Jeff is a little bit in shock right now, but if you're watching this video and you want to buy this product today, it's 189. Okay? And then once you use this product and you see the value that it creates for your clients, as well as for listen, it's gonna it's all about referrals. Once you have a beautiful floor and then they see it six months later, it's still as beautiful as the day you laid it and it doesn't have all of the negatives, you've eliminated it. Answers. Right. So we so we have the product on sale. It's on our website. Okay. It's through the month of June where you can actually buy this product for one hundred eighty nine dollars, which is close to cost. Um, but the main thing is we want you to try the product. That's the main thing. If you want to call up and you want to sample just a small little quarter of the product, I'll be more than happy to send it out to you at no charge. If you call me on the number down below here or call Jeff on his number, we'll send you out a free quart so you can try it out. It's going to cover several thousand square feet. Jeff can throw the leads our way and Boss of Gloss can handle them. If you're on Facebook right now and you're watching this and you're interested, yeah. contact Jeffrey. We'll get you out a sample so you can try on your next epoxy job. Here's the Jeffrey you want to call. Right, right there. The good guy. <laughs> Willie. And the terrazzo. Willie. Willie Nelson. <laughs> did, did you show it to Jeff, by the way? <laughs> Jeff, look at that. That's a terrazzo pad. Oh, oh I got that. Yeah. 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 So <laughs> you, you just want to know, okay? <laughs> heavy. 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 <laughs> you want to know if we That's have a commitment. Four Simics. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That two easy yeah. things. Yeah. 1992. <laughs> 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 listen, the main the main thing is is that after you apply your product, the best thing you recommend is to burnish it with a diamond pad. Jeff, you want to talk about the diamond pad you have there? Yeah. We got a 20 inch, 3,000 grit, spin flex. We have these. We have these available on 8,000 grit yeah, also. Yeah. 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 We, you want to find the grid. Yeah. Because what all you're trying to do is just keep that surface yeah, nice. Yeah. yeah. Right. Um, Clean daily with the red pad. Yeah. You don't have to use this. Right. So it is a polishable yeah. coating. Oh, yeah. Right. It is a coating. Coating. It is a polishable coating. coating. It is not a finish. This is a coating. This is coating. Permanent. Right. This Perfect. is not going anywhere. You have to lay it off. That's Which means happens. you have to take a diamond yeah. and grind right. it. I mean, those yeah. shoes aren't going to yeah. that baby off. Yeah. Okay. Is that something? Yeah. yeah. It doesn't to... scuff easy either. No. Yeah, no. That's the nice part. Like the people you that use wax. Oh my gosh. Black oh. marks everywhere. Yeah. You want to just say you got to strip it, re-wax it. Keep it's talking about stripping and re-waxing. You are yeah, it's another another slave night. to your existence. Yeah. yeah. We get into grocery store situations. The least that will save a grocery store annually in Maine is 85 cents a square foot. Because we only need, at, you don't really need to burnish more than once a week. You don't even need to burnish once a week. But a lot of guys want that, hey, I want that gloss meter in the mid 80s. And they're not going to do it. Mm -hmm. But only once a week. But he's saving the grocery store 85 cents a square, a square foot. So if you have to talk to the grocery store chain yeah. that has several million square feet, they're talking about saving several million dollars yeah. a year yeah, yeah. on stripping and waxing. It's ridiculous, right? It, it, and what's happened with acrylic floor finishes, since they outlawed the use of the toxic zinc in it as a, as a metal cross linker, 
they no longer stand up to where they did that. So for stores, we're you know doing a, a complete uh, strip once a year. Some are in super high traffic. We were just with the, with the group up in Boston. The store does four. We ran a store that does four million dollars a week. Thirty nine checkouts. Seventy nine coats of wax a year go down on that floor. So, oh my gosh, it's yeah. insane. Yeah. And the guy said, you know, that's what we got to do. We got to do that, and I go. You don't have to do that. Yeah. That's so, how I ended up starting for this. Uh, yeah. Oh, beautiful. Yeah. Well, then you understand it. Yeah. It's, so it's really just a matter of knowing the right people, knowing about the right materials that you can use. Okay, and a lot of people they don't find these products in the middle of the world of concrete. They don't find them because they're not they're not out there. That's why that's why I like to hold these videos. The, these videos we do is is for continuing education. Um, let them try the product. Once again, 100% money back guarantee on anything you ever buy off of our site. Um, talk to us directly. Call the phone numbers below. You can get any one of us on the phone anytime. Even Jeff, he picks up the phone later. Oh, Here's who you call. Listen, he goes to bed a little bit earlier than me. Yeah. Yeah. I go to bed a little bit earlier than Jeff. But I get up a lot earlier than either one of you. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so, but I want to thank, thank both of you guys for coming here today good. and spending this nice time with each other. Yeah. And we look forward to uh, future events like this on our YouTube uh, channel. Please subscribe if you're not a subscriber. Uh, please follow us. Uh, and please like us at ExtremePolishingSystems.com. We hope all the best to you guys and your health and wealth. Thank you.